We all of you dearly beloved, listening to the sound of my voice on Prophet Kanawu TV. Be blessed. Amen. Pillar of Christ Jesus International is the platform and is headed by Prophet Kanawu in Paris, France. You could reach Prophet Kanawu on Zoom on Sundays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 18.30 hours Greenwich Mean Time. You could reach Prophet Kanawu on Zoom on Sundays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 18.30 hours Greenwich Mean Time. Thank you. Our message today is entitled Perfect Timing. And we will delve into the message from Galatians 4, verse 4 to 7. Galatians 4, verse 4 to 7, and I read from the Bible. But when the fullness of the time came, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, that he might redeem them which were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because he are sons, God sent forth the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, so that thou art no longer a born servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. Man. Perfect timing. God always has perfect timing. He says, at the right time, things happen. We just need to remember there are two right times. One right time for God's plans and a second right time for us and other plans. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. That does not come to you void, but accomplish it, its purpose. And dear Lord, as we delve into your word, give us the understanding as of the day of Pentecost. Father God, give us the courage to preach this word. Your perfect timing to all the four corners of the earth so that souls may be one into your kingdom through your church, Pillar of Christ International. Father, we thank you. We magnify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. There are two kinds of at the right time. The first is God's plans that he wants to happen. In that case, it will happen perfectly. Everything fitting together for his son to be born is the perfect example. There's the second kind, the plans we make, and we want God's assistance in making them happen according to the skills and abilities God has given us. These plans, God can say yes, no, yes, but, or no, but, or just wait on me. These two, at the right time, are easy to get mixed. The right time here is mostly the second kind. That's what we want and ask God's help for. In the midst of hardships, 
we tend to feel our prayers and cries to God aren't being answered because we may not see an immediate change in our situations. This is a misconcept of how our relationship with God actually should be. We are to put all of our trust into God's hands. After all, God is greater than our heart and he knows everything. As in 1 John 3 verse 20, and just because we don't see an immediate change doesn't mean God never heard us because he has. I don't forget this one. One thing, dear friends, that God is patient as in 2 Peter 3 verse 8 to 9. And with him, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. What we may, comp what we may comprehend as seeing a slow response isn't due to God not listening to us. We are not taking time to be patient and enduring until God takes action. God is patient with us, and we in return should be patient with him. God directs our path. Proverbs 16 verse 9 states, In their hearts, humans plan their course but the Lord establishes their steps. We all should have a plan for our future and work the plan as we travel through life. When we create a long-term plan in our hearts, we can then quickly find ourselves disappointed and even lost when it isn't happening fast enough or at all. But if we confide in the Lord and let him bring us to where we need to be, there isn't any room for these head feelings we have with God and the steps that come together for us can be great moments in our lives and can be enjoyed throughout our journey. God's timing in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 is the best. There the word of God states, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity in the, the heavens. God never promised us that our life on earth will be easy, but he did say that there is a time and a season for everything. God has told us there is a purpose for it all. During these times, we should struggle through and enjoy the season. Most likely, the purpose is to help us grow closer to God and know what he wants and desires for us. Do not boast about tomorrow. For you do not know what a day may bring. As in Proverbs 27, verse 1. Therefore, beloved, live for today, recognizing that each day we rise from our beds, we have only God to thank for it. We do not know what tomorrow will bring, so we should celebrate each day and live by honoring God in the gift of life we often take for granted. Our lives can change in a blink of an eye, which gives us an even more powerful purpose to live for today. Many people like to say God has created a plan for each one of us, but it's more like concepts, or some may call them rules to operate by. He doesn't have a plan 
on who you marry, but it does say to marry a Christian and tells us how to live in that marriage. He doesn't dictate when you will die, but his concept or rule is you can live longer or shorter by following Jesus Christ in your life. God knows everything. Who we will marry and when we will die. But it doesn't mean he planned it for you. We are called to know what he says by reading his word and speaking to him about things that concerns us. The plans he has for us always exceed our wildest expectations because it aligns with what we are meant to be doing when we follow his concept that he teaches us, not what we expect we should be doing. Submit to him. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 prompts us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. In all our ways, we should submit to him and he will make our path straight. God had created each of us for a purpose. The very purpose is to be a follower of his son, Jesus Christ. The second is to follow his concepts or rules for living our lives. He has given each of us desires, skills, and abilities to use for him and to be used for us. For instance, I will not make a good medical doctor or a nurse or a carer. Our purpose is to follow Christ and use the skills and abilities he has given us within the purpose he has for us. When the right time came, God was done and is done. God's timing is perfect in all things. Amen. Beloved, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. That is like a two a sword. And dear Lord, as we go our separate ways, we ask that your Holy Spirit help us to meditate on this word, the perfect timing. And Lord, let your Holy Spirit Spirit, give us the patience to wait on your perfect timing because your timing is the best. And Lord, give us the courage to preach this word to all the four corners of the earth so that souls may be won into your kingdom through your church pillar of Christ Jesus International. Father, we thank you. We stand in awe of you. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen.